Now, isn't this the easiest casserole you've ever put together? Because you don't have to cook anything prior. All we're doing is slicing up some zucchini, tomatoes, and cheese. And here we're using sliced uh, Fontina cheese, but you could use any kind of cheese you wanted to. If we wanted to use Parmigiano, we could use that. And we're making layers of the zucchini, the tomatoes, the cheese, and they keep going like this. It's almost like building a lasagna, right? Yeah, that's right. Except we're doing it with vegetables. So this is going to be a wonderful casserole that you bake in the oven. And they're going to put a little surprise on top after they get done layering all of the vegetables. And I'll come back and we'll show you what that is. But you admire their handiwork because they're doing a great job. <laughs> All right, now, here's the little surprise. Marion toasted the bread slices, uh, made, made them into little triangles, and we, we browned them in butter, and now they become the topping to this tomato and zucchini and cheese casserole. You can get this all done ahead of time. This is a great thing to do for company. Would you make this for company? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it serves a lot of people. Well, we have, you know, 16 people for lunch today. So that's looking beautiful. Continue as you are doing, and then that is going to go in the oven covered with foil. I know what you're saying. The bread is going to get soggy, so why did you do that? Well, we're going to uncover this midway through the cooking process and allow it to cook even further and the bread will continue to be nice and crusty.